business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Watch this. You see, some folk won't well, launch out into the deep. And there's that breaking increase if you would just step out into the deep. Now, the Lord told me to come here with a prophetic word for someone. And I don't know who it's for. But he told me there's someone who's between and betwixt. They're not sure of something. That they're sitting in a halfway house, like on a fence. And what the word is for them is that they need to take a step of faith and step out into the deep. And there's some business out there to be done, some godly business, some natural business, some professional business. There's all kinds of things available to this person or persons, but what they're doing is they're holding back. Should I? Shouldn't I? And there's this fear on them. But there's a prophetic word that someone just needs to launch out into the deep. Because you see, there's a whole abundance just on the other side. And there's net breaking increase. And you're going to have to call partners and others to come and take in the harvest. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God. Amen. That's just a little tip. It's important to move out of your territory. You see, people want the blessings of Abraham. But do we know what Abraham had to do to get that blessing? What did he have to do, sister? He moved out. Amen. So I want you, hopefully in prayer and fasting and seeking the Lord, to realize that there's something outside of your normal domain. And there's a word about launching out into something new and something else and into the deep. And there's net breaking increase. You have to call others, come and help me, come and help me. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So those were the groups. And when you read it, you'll realize it's in clusters. So it's talking about, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Some of us are redeemed in here. Amen. Some of us are redeemed in here. And we've been redeemed, amen, because of the blood of Jesus and because of the power of the Holy Ghost, which has brought us back through Jesus into relationship with the Father. And now, the whole of creation is groaning, waiting for the manifestation of your ministry on a different level to what it is today. And you have to step out, launch out into the deep. And there's net breaking souls, net breaking increase. Amen? Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to the third question. Now, by the way, I bless all the others who give me those our groups. The foolish, amen. The wise, amen. And all the others. It's a blessing. Thank you. Can you identify at least three reasons stated in Psalms why we should give thanks to the Lord? Now, who's going to be bold enough to take this question on? You know, oh, I can see them, they're smiling already. Amen. Here I go. Amen. All it takes is a smile. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm from the full gospel of our church in the Meadows. Thanks for his goodness and for his works which you know of men. Yes. 
And in verse 32, when the Gideon stands, we're going to exalt him, give him that. Let them exalt him also in the, in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders because of his miracles. Bless you. That's beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Gene, can you put up my slide on the uh, some of the reasons why uh, we need to give thanks to the Lord? Amen. As exposed by Psalms. I don't know. Can you go back up and go up, please? Yeah. Here we go. Now, there are many reasons, amen? And my sister has beautifully, under the anointing, revealed many of them to us, amen? Hallelujah. We need to give thanks to the Lord because He is good. Hello, somebody. We serve a good God. Period. God that way. Now, apart from him just being good, the essence of goodness, his mercy endureth forever. And my Bible tells me it's renewed each day. Amen? So every day I get up, there's more mercy for me. Amen? My brother Errol needs some mercy. Now, I don't know about you, but I need more mercy from God. So his mercy every day is renewed and renewed and renewed. And it endureth forever. Oh, hallelujah. That's a revelation right there. Endless mercy. He does wonderful work. It's exposed in the scripture. If we ever had time in here to testify of the wonders that God has done in our lives, there was no opportunity, there was no future for me, Sister Nichols. Look at him working in me now. I believe in him, that's too good. I love time for that. Look at him working in you. Look at the glory of God flowing through you right now. If you could see yourself, he does wonderful works. the name of Jesus. Amen. He also satisfies yeah. the longing soul. Yes, sir. Some trust in riches. Some trust in child. But I trust in the mighty name of the Lord. My soul longs to be set free. My Lord longs to be at liberty to overcome all the things that attack me in the battleground of my mind but there's a strong tower there's a name above all of the names that I can run into he satisfies my soul okay so Eugene can you do the next slide now I'm going to have to pray over this because I need you in your groups to come up with 10 scriptures. My, my, my. my Errol, I, Brother Errol, I came to be taught today. The Holy Spirit is empowering you to teach yourself, pray for yourself, anoint yourself. Yeah. I'm going to give you only 20 minutes. I'm in trouble. Two minutes per scripture. You need to work fast. Do it as a team. There are 10 reasons why we should give thanks to the Lord. Jesus set an example. What's the scripture? The heavenly host do it. Where's the scripture? To enter his gates and courts. Where's the scripture? It is a good thing. Where's the scripture? To see the glory of the Lord. And the ministers couldn't minister. And the Shekinah glory came. And there was no more ministry. No more. Where's the scripture? In private. Who did private worship when there's a decree went out? The 
all the magicians and wise people would be killed. But there was one man, a man of an excellent spirit, who stood head and shoulders above the others. Oh, my dear God, I'm giving too many clues. In public worship, where's the scripture? In everything, I must give thanks in everything. Where's the scripture? For the word of the Lord. Where does it say in scripture, I must give thanks for the word of the Lord? And for victory, O oh death. O oh death, where is thy sting? Where is thy victory? You've got 20 minutes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't let anybody down. Go for it, brothers and sisters. Where are the scriptures? You should, some of them are simple, some of them are harder. Amen. Amen. To feed in one at a time. Amen. So, Mother Walker, I'm going to ask you to go first. And I'd like you to do the first one. Amen. I'm going to write the scripture up and you need to just remind us of it. Scripture there. 
Hallelujah.